Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Monday, January 27th, 2020. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video in the description box and you can get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use the free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. Again, get started clicking on the link below the video. Free $60 account. All right, nice NBA weekend for us. We're going to recap the last couple of days. On Friday, we hit with Sacramento, five-star play. Passed on Saturday in the NBA, hit a six-star yesterday with the Denver Nuggets. And by the way, my six-star plays in the NBA, now 83% going back to November 7th. We're going to up it a bit on Monday. Really like one side on Monday. It's a seven-star play, rare seven-star play in the NBA for us. And uh, that'll be available Monday, DocSports.com at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Uh, we're on a 71% run in the NBA, and we're up over $1,400 for those wagering just $100 per unit during this run. So go check that out, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on Monday. Seven-star play in the NBA, as big as it gets for me. And also, NHL's back in action after the All-Star break. I've got a four-star play in the NHL on Monday, same time, release time, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, anytime after that. Uh, get a pass in college basketball on Monday. Short card, and uh, just looked over the card a couple of times and, and don't really like it. So we'll, we expect to be back in action on Tuesday with picks posted at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. We'll talk more about Tuesday's college basketball card on Tuesday's video. I lost over the weekend in college basketball. We won in the NBA. Uh, we had a 2-0 Saturday, real nice 2-0 Saturday. Picked up something, uh, not only a, a fan, favorite on Saturday, but also picked up a nice underdog winner on Saturday in UFC, so a 2-0 sweep there. Uh, but I lost in college basketball. And we went in to Friday, 32, 18, and two. We were tearing it up like 64% the last four or five weeks, uh, but a, a losing weekend. The saving grace, which kept us from losing too many units, happened to be our seven-star play on Colorado on Saturday. So that was the good news. We did lose a couple of units. The seven-star with Colorado on Saturday, though, was the silver lining, then a six-star with the Denver Nuggets on Sunday in the NBA. So again for Monday, a seven-star play in the NBA, 71% run, and we've got a four-star play in the NHL. Both plays at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific or after over at DocSports.com. Uh, real quick, we do have our next NFL Super Bowl props video up right now. You can go check that out when you get a chance. We're looking at some more rushing yardage props. Uh, we've given out one prop thus far. We put our second video out uh, for Monday, so go check that out. Uh, let's get to our free pick in just a minute. Real quick note, the tragedy on Kobe Bryant. Man, we were uh, I'm such a big Kobe Bryant fan, and, and I know that I haven't shared a lot about uh, my personal feelings about teams and all that kind of stuff uh, over the course of doing free plays and on these videos for the past almost two years. I'm not a real big fan of any one team in NBA or NFL. Uh, it's a situation where I like individual players a lot and so I kind of follow their teams almost like a fan but not quite. Uh, you know I've been a big fan of certain NBA players over the years going all the way back to when I was a little kid. Nate Tiny Archibald, a huge fan of Nate Archibald's game. Uh, Larry Bird, he turned me from a Celtic hater into a Celtic fan. Archibald, Kansas City Kings when I was seven or eight years old becomes a Celtic a little bit later. Uh, so big fan of players throughout the years and of course Kobe Bryant. I, I don't know that I was a bigger fan of his game than any other player that I've ever seen. Got a chance to catch him in person a couple of times. Never did get to meet the guy but an absolute tragedy what happened to himself, uh, to his daughter in, in you know just a, a sad state of events. And to see that he was such a great father man to not only the, the daughter Gigi who passed away on Sunday but also uh, to his other three kids. Uh, just amazing stuff and best wishes to his family. Hope you don't mind me talking a little bit personal there, but uh, we try to stay away from that. But I thought in this instance, you wouldn't mind. Let's get to the free pick for Monday. It is the clash in Salt Lake between the Rockets and the Jazz. We went against the Rockets yesterday, as we mentioned, one with the Denver Nuggets as a six-star play. And now they're in the second of back-to-back -back nights. Even worse than that, it's the high altitude swing at Denver yesterday, at Utah tonight. Uh, they're going to be without Russell Westbrook. They've already announced that he's out for Monday uh, just for rest. I mean, he had a nice 30-point game last night, but he also turned the ball over 10 times. And James Harden currently listed as doubtful. Didn't play on Sunday. We'll see if he goes on Monday. And listen, I know surrounding players sometimes can pick it up for a missing player or two, pick up the slack, but I just don't think that's going to happen for an entire four quarters in the situation they're in tonight, especially against a very hot Utah Jazz team that's playing for bigger things in the Western Conference this season. 
real quick note, I wanted to uh, make a note of this and, and I had to put on the, the cheaters here because I wanted to check this one stat. The Rockets have now lost four straight against the spread when they're starting five combined for more than 160 minutes of playing time in their previous game or the previous day in the back-to-back -back night situation. And that's the, the spot they're in today. So again, free pick on the Utah Jazz. That's obviously not my seven star pick over at DocSports.com on Monday. You can grab that at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Hope you liked the videos. Hope you didn't mind me talking a little bit about Kobe. We kept it short. And uh, again, let's put it in the win column on Monday. And I'll be right back here Tuesday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.